Even my people. Now, I must confess that this is a review that is long overdue. I've had what I'm about to review sitting on that shelf for about two or three months. Sorry, Mick. I know you had a birthday yesterday. I'm sorry. Can this be my belated birthday present for you? But the only this goes to air, it's going to be about a week or so late. Because we all know I do this a week in review. So, the basic is is that we have four seasons in Melbourne. And people, you know, it's, it's hey talk conversation. Oh, did shocking weather we're having the you know nice little blast furnace we have that child will be quiet if that child starts talking again yes i do have a child at home as i record and he will make like he is silent so that's me being a parent middle of a review so yeah we all discuss the weather it's a great talking point in melbourne so i'm going to be doing a um weather review today and the weather today in melbourne will be drink your all seasons people that's what that will be it is a liqueur it's handcrafted it's made by my friend mick up at imbue distillery maker of um such wonderful things as the uh, sherry cask whiskies behind um that one zoom in there it made a lethal whiskey sour and the brandy beside it which made <laughs> made me forget an entire evening so this is barrel aged. It's been a barrel aged in a Jurif barrel, Jurif wine barrel, and Jurif um, wine by memory is incredibly dry. In fact, I, last time I tried a Jurif, I found it undrinkable. Having said that, there's lots of rights up. This has been aged, not made in. Um, I'm going to be drinking it neat, as I do. There's no sound of happiness because damn glass bottle, glass cork. So gonna pour this baby out it's 35 percent, so it's not proof um, now the bright up is the back is a um, strain take on the classic aniseed foil barrage bar aniseed forward barrel aged liqueur the smell of happiness says that there's a lot of honey in here and uh, knowing Mick and Mel as I do, this is like a big local honey. So, we just ignore the child noises off to one side. The taste of happiness is that the, okay, yeah, there's the aniseed. Um, it's more likely fennel, more likely local, for, locally foraged you know, fennel than these two. Um, look for a honey with the sweet and Victorian honey. Um, 35%. They are saying, and I'm literally reading off the back, um, to sip neat, what I'm doing, and savour or with mixed with ginger beer and fresh citrus. So basically, everyone's saying, oh, you're going to have a shocking summer in Victoria. The great way of making this shocking summer into a great summer is get a couple of bottles of this. Or get a yeah of this. Um, line up that shocking Sunday afternoon. Large jug, ginger beer, ice cubes, big jug. Sit it, let it chill, and bang, you'll be as happy as a pig and shit. And no matter how hot it gets outside, no matter how hot that horrible blast furnace off the um, wheat fields in New South Wales gets when it hits Melbourne, you're going to be feeling not a lot of pain. And this stuff, which is just gorgeously coloured. Move in close, Odin. Um, it's going to be just the best way to drink summer. You know, it's drink all seasons. Um, so that way you just don't care how hot it is. So, yep, nice and short. Thank you very much. You will be quiet and stop annoying me. Um, you will hit subscribe, click, follow, share. You know the bizzo. Um, and I will be going for another Victorian gin. I think I will go for my final Hill Martin Gin, which is the Orange Squeeze next week. Um, and I will more likely, yep. An extra next week will be Woody Island um, Lavender Le Lavender Gin. So, thank you for watching. People, my people, let's keep these subscriptions rolling in. And this is the best way to drink the seasons. All seasons from the Imbue Distillery. The uh, link on how to get this baby is in the write-up. Catch up.